Welcome to the 2019 CAP Ideas Conference. Over the course of today, we will hear from an incredible lineup of elected officials, policy experts, and grassroots activists. Together, they are shaping a positive agenda that serves as an alternative to everything the current administration represents, an agenda that stands up for women's rights, reforms our immigration system, strengthens our democracy, and forges a truly inclusive economy. At this moment, we're witnessing a series of rich and far-reaching policy debates about the best solutions for moving our country forward. And CAP is thrilled to help drive that conversation through our work every day and through today's event. I believe that these kinds of debates are more important than ever. Now I know that some believe that thoughtful policies founded upon research and rationality or, or are, are no longer in fashion and no longer matter. After all, our current president often appears untethered to the facts or any sense of rationality at all. But the truth is that the public is still moved by ideas and solutions which focus on addressing the real challenges they face. And recent events should remind us that ideas, bold yet realistic, far-reaching and impactful, still have the power, the powerful to potential to improve people's lives. We saw the enduring strength of these ideas during last November's midterm elections, and we're continuing to see the strength, their strength during the ongoing presidential primaries. In fact, the new democratically controlled House has also passed has already passed one landmark bill after another. And I'm proud to say that CAP has done its fair share to lay the groundwork for this progress. Let me give you just one example of our impact. In 2014, many years ago now, CAP released a major report that outlined a plan to end discrimination against LGBTQ people across all of our society, from the housing market to the workplace to our country's public facilities. Then, in the five years that followed, we worked along, alongside a host of other progressive organizations and leaders to rally support for this proposal. And just last week, the House passed the Equality Act, a historic piece of civil rights legislation that championed the same ideas we put forward in 2014. Over the last few years, we've also put the issue of political reform at the forefront of the progressive policy discussion. And congressional candidates throughout the nation embraced these ideas last November. Their energy and these proposals helped fuel the For the People Act, a series of sweeping reforms that would renew our democracy by strengthening voting rights and curbing the corrupting influence of special interests in our government. And H.R. 1, the For the People Act, was the first bill passed this year. Later in our program, I'll have the privilege of sitting down with a great leader and the person most responsible for realize, realizing these achievements in the House, Speaker Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> now, we all know that America is currently in the midst of presidential primaries that feature a remarkably deep and diverse selection of candidates all 23 or 2,300 of them. <laughs> Fantastic ideas are at the heart of the debate that's unfolding about the future of our country, and CAP's policy solution, solutions are also playing a role in setting the terms of this debate. That includes our proposals to enact universal health care, to ensure affordable, high-quality child care is there for all, to pursue a foreign policy that is focused on protecting democratic values here and around the world, and to significantly raise the salaries of America's teachers. But while the 2020 race will continue to dominate the headlines, it is vital for us all to remember that there's incredibly important work to be done all across the progressive movement right now. That's why this conference will showcase inspirational voices who are leading the charge on every front, from mayor's offices to governor's offices to the halls of Congress. Today, with nearly 18 months remaining until November 2020, it can feel like we're in the eye of the storm. But this is not the moment to be overwhelmed or immobilized. 
not when our government is on the brink of a constitutional crisis between Congress and the President because he's obstructing all oversight, not when the President continues to attack our democratic institutions while embracing foreign dictators, not when the American people suffer because of Trump's tariffs, which are attacks on all of us, while officials in his, in his administration feed at the public trough, and not when hundreds of migrant children remain separated from their parents. The stakes have never been higher in my lifetime. We have an immense responsibility to rally Americans in every corner of this country to help defend and advance the fundamental values of our democracy. And we can accomplish that mission with ideas, ideas that can and will produce meaningful change in people's lives, lasting change, change for the better, and change for all. Fighting for change and for progress from one generation to the next has been the defining story of our country since our founding. And I believe that in, even in the starkest of moments, we are planting the seeds of ideas that can forge a stronger, fairer, and far better America for generations to come. That is what today is about, and that is what the work of the Center for American Progress is about every single day. Thank you.